Greetings, gentlemen and ladies. I'm the old school game snob. Uh, hang on. That's not the right video. Uh, window capture. There we go. <laughs> Playing a little Diablo here on the side. Now, in today's video, we are going to retarget a character creator three or four. Uh, uh, we're going to do character creator three to a Daz eight figure. Now, the rules will still apply if you're doing CC4 or uh, or or Genesis 9. It, it doesn't really matter. This is sort of how it works in a nutshell. Um, let me show you really quickly here how this is indeed working. Walk forward. There we go. So on the left, we have our character creator model. And on the right, we have our, our DAS model. Not too bad. Pretty good. They sync up. Uh, so basically, now I can retarget um, character creator three uh, animations over to a DAZ animation. So, uh, but here's the thing: this sort of applies to any retargeting, right? This is sort of like retargeting, and also how to do it with character with a with a character creator model onto a DAZ model. Like initially, what I did is I. Uh, added a bunch of animations into my character creator model, and then I decided I wanted to switch over to Daz, so I had to build a retargeter for my character creator 3 model uh, animations over to my Daz model. So that's why we have that. So here we have um, my IK rig for my character creator 3 model. Here we have the uh, Genesis uh, 8 uh, IK rig that comes with your Daz 2 Unreal plugin. This is, this, this is the rig that comes with that. Uh, and what you have to do is basically, in a nutshell, what you have to do is you have to go over here. This is my my DAS model, and you have to create a a rig for your character creator, or vice versa. No, probably vice versa. Yeah. Uh, that basically. All right. So here here's what uh, we start out by doing. Here's my character creator mesh, my my CC3 character mesh right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to new animation and I'm going to go to new IK rig. Boom. When you create a new IK rig, it will look something like this, except over here is going to be entirely empty. Okay. Uh, so the first thing that you have to do is uh, you need to basically also open your Genesis 8 uh, IK rig that came with your, uh, your plugin. Let me show you really quickly where you find that. DAS to Unreal, and then retargeting, and then you have your Genesis 8 rig, your Genesis 9 rig, IK rigs. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, open up one of those so you have a reference point, right? And then this is the Genesis 8 um, configuration. Uh, you, if, you, if, it, if you're using Genesis 9, same idea, uh, but it might be a little different. I don't know. I haven't looked at Genesis 9 yet. Um, but it's basically the same idea. Then in your in your in your uh, your character creator, or this act, like I say, this applies to basically any um, any skeleton uh, which has uh, animations that you want to retarget from or retarget to. It kind of goes both ways. Uh, what you need to do, like I say, is create that IK rig. And once you've got the IK rig, what you'll have over here is entirely empty. Right, this is going to be empty to start. Um, what you need to do first is start by setting the retarget root of your character creator IK rig. Uh, that is going to be the CC base pelvis. I tried it as pelvis for a long time, uh, but it yeah was causing it, it didn't it straight up didn't work. And when I switched over to uh, CC base pelvis, that's when it worked. So I right click and I set this as the retarget root. All right, so that's the first thing you do is you set your character creator uh, retarget root. And like I say, yours is going to be entirely empty over here. So what you need to do first is start adding items to that. I'm going to quickly open up a fresh one here just so you guys can sort of see how that's done. Uh, sort of see how that's done. Uh, let me do that. Uh, oh, where is it? Content. Hero. Um, Right, so I'm just going to go ahead and create a new example uh, IK rig. Oh, sorry, I right click anywhere, animation, IK rig, and then I'm going to select the skeleton uh, of the 
of the character creator model. So in my case, it is this one here, right? So you need to make sure you select the skeleton of the IK of the skeletal mesh of the character, in this case, the CC3 model that we're going to now add an IK rig to, basically. Uh, I'm gonna call this one just example. And I'm gonna fire it up. And as you can see over here, there is nothing under IK targeting. I'm going to, again, quickly set that as my retarget root. And now what we need to do is taking our reference of our G G uh, Genesis 8 model, is we need to go through and we need to add all of these things here. This is a bit tedious, but you only have to do it once, and then you can use this over and over and over again. Or if you're watching this video, you can download mine from the link in the description, because I'm going to make that available to you guys. Uh, because I couldn't find one anywhere on the internet. Sort of an obscure need, but in case anybody needs it, I'm going to make that available for download. Uh, but it's good to know how to do it. Not too hard. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to start by selecting our root. Uh, and if this is a capital R, ca capital L, basically what, you, what I'm doing is I'm going to copy from my DAS rig, the, the name, root. And then I'm going to choose the root bone, because in this case you see it's root to root, start bone, end bone, root to root, basically just root right here. So I'm going to just select my root. I'm going to right click, new retarget chain from selected bones. And I'm going to put that in as root, capital, that's the name of it. I'm going to match that up with the DAS example, remember? Because we, we're, we're getting these, we're getting the DAS skeleton to match, the DAS skeleton IK rig to match with the CC skeleton IK rig, I think, basically. I think that's the terminology. So there's the first one, root. Uh, next up, <clears throat> we'll go and we'll do left leg, right? Left leg. Uh, and the one easy thing to do here is if you want to see what the left leg is, just click uh, on this part and you can see it highlighted. Now, one also very handy thing to do is to set your bone size. Now, initially your bone size might be like that or something, right? It's like hard to see what the heck's going on. So I like to set my bone size down nice and small um, so I can see what's what. So I'm going to click on the left leg. And as I can see here, uh, this starts here and it goes all the way down to this little toe area right here. Now, I actually initially accidentally only did it to the foot, but look closely when you do this because you might miss something. So this one goes all the way to the toe. And I was like, all right, well, what is the toe? I'm going to click this individual bone itself. Oh, yeah, look, it is the toe over here, right? So there's like a separate little toe. All right, so what's my what's the equivalent of, of that on my, on, my, on my character creator, right? So I'm, I need to, on my character creator models, now I need to do and check that out. So I'm going to start with the left, left leg, and I'm looking for, and like I say, this is where the, the big bones are kind of a pain. So I'm actually going to make these bones even a little bit smaller, like point, point 0.8 maybe. There we go. And as you can see right there, we have uh, CC ball. Now, this is a bit of a weird addition to the character creator models. These are kind of like, I don't even know what these bones are, but they're not really a part of the chain. So anyway, I've got this one right here. This is the, this is the equivalent, is if I look over here and I check out the toe, uh, you can see it's sort of that, uh, well, and again, I'm going to make these bones a bit smaller so it's just like easier to see the individual parts, right? So now you can actually see what's going on. So there's the left toe, and you can see that green highlighted part is the left toe, and then like the ch children of it are the yellow one. So the, it's this. It, the, so we know the bone goes all the way to this little toe part, right? So we just need to make sure of that when we when we add the start and the end bone. Uh, so basically, in a nutshell, uh, I'm going to grab the name of it, left leg, and I'm going to start by selecting that top bone for the left leg. And I know it goes all, and now actually I'm going to click on the left. I'm actually going to select it on the left uh, and find that bottom point, which in this case is ball L, right? That ball L bone. And I'm just going to right click that chain and new retarget chain from source. Now, <clears throat> initially, because I have this weird one right in the middle here, this CC base, it's going to try to create the start bone and the end bone to not actually the end bone, which is weird. It's just like a weird little quirk. I'm actually going to close that first option. And now I can see the start bone is the thigh L and the end bone is ball L. Yep, that's what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and give it its name, left leg, right? Um, so that is actually what you have to do. Okay, so that is what you have to do. You have to go through and you have to match up uh, all, of the, all of the bones on the DAS character, on your DAS, DAS rig that comes with your DAS plugin, you have to match all those up, the start points and the end points, 
to you don't have to worry about the ik goals i don't really know what those are how those work i think they might have something to do with animation uh sensing and stuff like that but uh, for the purpose of retargeting animations, it seems to work without those IK goals and the full body solver. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to experiment with, with, with how that works la later. I'm not going to talk on it because I don't really know. But what I do know is that uh, initially I have no solver or anything like that, no goals, and it still, it still retargets the animations. What that's missing, I'm not sure. I'm gonna, obviously, I'm going to find that out later. So, But I'm not going to talk on it just because I don't know. So, uh, yeah, basically... Like I say, um, you will go ahead and you will match up every single every single chain, right? So here we have the uh, left leg and then the right leg and then the spine, right? And in some cases, the bones are not going to match up exactly. That's okay. That's okay. So in this case, let me let me show you guys. I have the spine over here, but the the name of the spine is upper uh, is abdomen and lower to chest upper, right? So in some cases, you have to kind of figure which is the matching part. So in the case of, uh, that's, that's why the highlighting is so nice. And you can get an idea of what, what bone chain you're working on there. So now in my example, I can see that uh, it's like from here. And that's like the pelvis. So there's spine one to spine, whoops, spine one to spine three is the, is the equivalent, right? So in, in the case of spine, uh, in the case of spine, it uh, is abdominal to chest upper on the DAS character, but it's spine one to spine three on the character creator model. Uh, in a, so if you guys want to actually um, take a look at the, the configuration, uh, if you don't want to download the file and if you want to do this yourself, let me, show, let me show you a screenshot, or you can pause your video right here. This is the character creator three completed version. Uh, so you can see where the start and the end points are, right, of all the different parts and all the different names. If you if you if you have any trouble figuring out what they should be, this is what they what they should be. Um, so yeah, you pause the video here. You can recreate it yourself, or you can download the file that I'll provide uh, in the description of this of this video and just download the CC rig. Okay, so once you have your character rigged, let me delete this example one. Once you have your character rig uh, your 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 IK rig ready configured. Once you have your rig ready and configured. Um, the next step is to, uh, very easy actually, the next step is to create a new uh, rig retargeter. Uh, the rig that we want to copy an animation from is the rig that has the animations that you want to copy from onto. So in my case, all the animations belong to my previous character creator model that I had worked with before I wanted to switch over to Daz. Uh, so I want, to, I want to make sure to copy from the character creator 3 rig uh, the one that we were just working on. So that's my IKCC3 rig, like I say, the one we were just working on. So that's what I'm copying from. I'm just going to call this test. And now what we want to copy to in the case of our DAS model is our is our included Genesis uh, 8 IK rig or Genesis 9 rig if you're working on that. It might, you're, like I say, I haven't worked on that yet. But what you will notice initially is everything's twisty. Um, and if you try to play an animation, it will not work. That's okay. That's a really easy fix. Um, so if we let me let me show you how that doesn't work. Let me show you how it doesn't work. Right? Okay, doesn't work. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to new pose, custom. You can re call that whatever you want. Uh, and then once you've got your new pose selected, go ahead and edit pose. This is slightly different in uh, in version 5.1 of Unreal. This is version 5. The menus have changed around a little bit, and I'm not exactly sure about how and where everything is. But unfortunately, but uh, you, I mean, I'm not really sure, so I can't really advise you, but it, I'm sure the process is pretty similar. Uh, again, I'm going to change that bone size down on my... Um, and uh, if, if for any reason, reason you don't see your, your model appear, uh, you can also just select the preview mesh to see your model appear on the rig. It probably is already attached to the rig, but if it, if it's not, anyway. Uh, so here's edit pose, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, basically select uh, the entire skeletal structure. And the easiest way to do that is to first select the pelvis, which is this one here. And then you have to watch very carefully and, and look for the black bones, which are not selected, right? So that selects almost everything, but it doesn't select the, um, like the IK uh, gun and hand and stuff. So basically, I'm going to hold down Shift. 
I'm going to select this one here. I'm going to select that one there. And those ones are now selected because they they're ch children of that one. Now basically I see no black bones. I should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and rotate that 90 degrees exactly. So it's facing the same way as my sample model. And that's all we're doing. We just needed to rotate it so they face the same way to start. That's the whole thing. Now you can see the animation works. That's it. Um, like I say, I will make this uh, Character Creator 3 IK rig available. You will need to create your own retargeter off of it. Um, probably easier to create your own retargeter off of it, but that's super easy. That's just what you saw. Uh, and then, yeah, you should be off to the races. Hope this video has helped. I know it'll help me in the future when I forget how to do this. So here you go, me of the future. Enjoy.